My name is Pepe Mora. Uh, I'm a Cuban singer, Latin music singer. Well, actually, I've been singing since I was, also was two years old. I have uh, actually recorded 12 albums with different artists. I started working with Ricardo Marrero in New York back a uh, long time ago. I was, I was actually 14 years old. Uh, he then became a uh, Ruben Blaze, you know, uh, musical director. Then from there on, you know, I recorded with Roberto Torre, the creator of Caballo Viejo, and other albums, you know, and worked with many bands, actually. How long have you been rehearsing in this studio? This studio's been like um, a little bit less than a year, and it's a fantastic studio. I like it, you know, it's very unique. It's eclectic, in a way, yeah. How has it gone for you uh, as far as music goes here in Miami? It's been good. I mean, you know, uh, when you like music, uh, uh, sometimes we relate music to money, but it's not exactly that. It's an art. So, you know, when you have that art inside of you, no matter what you do musically, whatever you do in the music, in the music world, it's going to be satisfying to your soul. So it's been good. Thank God. Yeah. Could you tell me more about uh, sort of the creative process when it comes to music and when, whenever you're performing or, or here? Well, you know, it's based on, there are many things when it comes to Latin music and I guess in all, all types of rhythm. You know, it's based on uh, uh, style of, uh, of musical arrangements, you know. So that's actually the, uh, and then in a way, you know, it all depends where you want to stay. We're, we're very uh, like uh, original when it comes to uh, Latin music, you know, most of the rhythms, you know, uh, have, were born in, in Cuba, so Cuba has over 85 different rhythms, you know, and like when you talk about salsa, in reality salsa does not, it's not a real rhythm. It was something created in, in Venezuela by a disc jockey. They said, oh, you guys have salsa? So that's, that's how it became a name. It was a very popular name for, more for the American market, in a way. Uh, like uh, the funny old stars and everything when they created that in New York. So in reality salsa is not a rhythm in itself, but it's, it's more like a son montuno from Cuba. So that's, you know, it all depends how you want to uh, wanna look at it. You know, uh, music is, from all angles, is based on performance and, arrange and musical arrangements. And you know, and, and that is actually it, you know. How does the appreciation of the music and the love for music factor into to everything that you do with it? Well, uh, I mean, it all depends on the audience, you know, uh, it doesn't matter who's there listening, as long as you have somebody listening, you know, it's up to, uh, to the artist to perform, but uh, I mean, there, I mean, music is, is constantly changing, you know, there are many types of rhythms, you know, there are many types of, now the modern, you know, rhythms are different than what we do, we do some Montuno, which is the, the salsa music, yeah. Lastly, how do you feel about the music scene in Miami? Well, Miami is very eclectic, you know, Miami has all type of rhythms, you know, there are all type of ages, you know, and every performer has their own, you know, people that follow them, as far as age is, con is concerned, right? Uh, and that's what I figure, you know. Okay, um, alright, I think that's good. Thank you very much, my friend. <laughs>